Good morning, everyone. Today, I'd like to share with you my newest design team project for Country Craft Creations. Um, this project, I used the Authentiques Companions Collection. I absolutely fell in love with this collection. It is so versatile. It is just so cool. It's not kiddish. Um, you know how some of that critter collections can kind of be geared to more of the, the children. This really isn't. It's just a very cool retro collection. Oh my gosh, dogs, cats, you can use it for either one. That's the beauty of this collection also is it is so versatile. One side of the papers, because they're double-sided, of course, can be used if you have a dog. The other side is geared to cats. So how perfect is that? If you have both, you can intermix, mix and match. It's perfect. What I've made for you today is a dog house, special dog house, and this sits on a platform that also has a drawer. And in the drawer, very cool, there is a folio as well as a pin holder in the back. So I will get to that. Let's go over the overall project first. This is a good size project. And again, this is the Authentique Companions Collection that I used. I absolutely love this. This was so much fun to make. I think you're really going to enjoy this. Um, I have used the papers from the collection. Look at the brilliant colors. Look at the cool, cool patterns on this paper. It is just absolutely adorable. Tons of cut aparts, tons of very cool things to use. It, again, it, the, my only problem with this was I wanted to use everything, absolutely everything. And you know me, I do tend to get carried away when I embellish, but that's okay. I always try to make a point of using their quote. Authentique usually has a very cool quote at the top of their papers. Um, in my opinion, if they're going to take the time to find a quote that goes so well with a collection, the least I can do is make an effort to use it in my project. So that's what I did here. I went ahead and these stand up for dimension. And the quote for this collection was, our perfect companions never have fewer than four feet. This was by Colette, whoever Colette is, but love, love, Love that quote, Colette. Awesome. As you can see on the front, this is a dog house. And on the front, um, I had this on, I cut that out. That was on uh, some embellishments that I had in my stash. And this was on the packaging. And I liked it, so I cut it out, matted it on black cardstock, and popped it up on the front to give it some dimension. The heart on the top of the dog house, this is all from the collection. Um, Playtime is the best time and cute. These are all standing up outside. I embellished the drawer in the base. I have a handle on here and I also went ahead and matted the Love is a Four-Legged World and put that on the front to dress up the front of the drawer. On the bottom, um, there's big wooden feet. Those are the big plain wooden um, dowel pieces if you would and I went ahead and painted those black because I used a lot of the black cardstock as my base. Okay let's look at the side. Again this is from the cut apart. How cool is that? Put that on the roof. This is the back. This is the other side. And I had to use one of the cat stickers. Well, it's not really a sticker. I cut it out from one of the cut aparts and it was in the shape of a heart. And of course it's no cats. And I put that on like a stand and going back to the front. Again, the roof comes off. Um, the roof, I have a square punch. I'll show it to you. It's a big fat punch. And this is what I used to punch out all of these 
little paper squares. This, this is red cardstock, and this is also cardstock, pattern cardstock from Authentic. Love, love, love it. I use the Prima black ink um, to ink everything. Love Prima's ink. It's non-smearing. It's wonderful. The punch that I use, this happens to be a Creative Memories, and this is the half inch square that I used. Set that aside. The roof comes off. Sorry about my phone. And again, you can see I did a lot of papering. I wanted everything to be covered. The roof comes off. Hi. This. My plan was, my plan was to use this for a treat box. The cool thing, Tammy has some film, some clear film that you can get at her shop. Wouldn't that be awesome, clear film, and then you can just pour your dog snacks inside here? I thought that was a cool idea. Inside, if you'll notice, everything is papered. Part. This says a house is never lonely where a loving dog waits. Also, I went ahead that cut apart. It, uh, it's a boy dog and I have it framed and I put dad on there. So that's a picture of dad. And here's the picture of mom. It's another cut apart. How cute, 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 cute is that? In the center, I went ahead and used another one of the cut aparts and I laid this like it would be a rug. Yep, I know, I get, I just get going, don't I? Again, perfect place to put dog snacks and treats and if it's lined with that plastic film, oh my gosh, perfect, perfect, perfect. The roof just picks right up, sits right back on, easy peasy. As I said, this is a base, it's sitting on an inside. Okay, there's a drawer that comes out. I'll scoot this over. Okay, and here is the drawer, ladies. Um, I do have a metal handle on the front for ease of getting in and out. Again, this is papered with the very cool prints from the Authentic Companion Collection. Love, love, love it. See, I even went as far as to decorate the inside of the drawer. Can't help myself. Isn't this just the cutest sticker you've ever seen? This is off of the sticker sheet. I did put a partition in the back, and you can put pens back here or whatever you want. But I thought, well, that would be a cool idea to use that for pens. That way you would have something. There you go. Put a pen in there. And if you wanted to journal in your folio, then you've got a pen accessible. I did create a folio that goes in this drawer. And this is Tammy Merrill's um, tutorial that she had taught. I changed it up just a tad, not a whole lot, but just a tad, resized it. Um, so this particular one is uh, seven, and, wait, seven and three quarters by four and a half is the size of this particular one. Again, look at all the very cool cut aparts. I matted everything with the black cardstock. I just thought that showed up so cool. And uh, rather than a ribbon or a tie, I went ahead and I used the basic gray magnets, which also she carries in her shop. They're small and large, two small, uh, two large ones. And it keeps it closed very, very nice. I went ahead and pop dotted some items on the front um, for some dimension. I like dimension. On the back, again, I used some more of the very cool cut aparts, matted, and went ahead and inked with the Prima Black. Okay, opening this. So cool. Love, 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 love it. Again, this was, um, Tammy did a tutorial on how to do this folio and how you create it. And if you want to change it up, that's entirely up to you, ladies. That's very, very versatile. Holds a lot, which is a very cool thing. So on the inside cover, of course, there's a pocket here. And I do have a couple of the cut-aparts. 
always in our heart and family dog. And as you can see on the back, see, you can always gear this to cats. It's just the coolest thing. Love this. Um, I went ahead and I matted one of the cut aparts to add interest to my pocket there. These slide right back in. And of course, tons more would fit in here. On the back, you have also another pocket. I used another one of the cut aparts, which says big baby, and matted that and inked it in black. And this is another one of the cut aparts. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Love it. And again, pocket will hold considerably more. Um, I went ahead on mine and I loved these critters. Oh my gosh. So I had to do some fussy cutting and inking, of course. So as you can see, that actually is a bottom stop. So you can add some of the cut aparts inside there and you could put a photo there that would work out perfectly. And as we flip through, Again, on the back, I've used some of the puppy dogs down here and uh, one of the cut aparts and use these as bottom stops. And oh, isn't this the sweetest, sweetest thing? Some of the cut aparts, this was a sticker and these just slide right back in. And on here, another one of the cut aparts. Oh my gosh, I love that. Actually, these aren't cut aparts, the animals here. I cut them from some of the paper. And isn't she just adorable? This just slides right back in. And again, this will hold a bunch more. Closing this and then opening it this way. As you can see, I've got a cut out here and I went ahead and did another cut apart there. And here I used some of the dogs again that I cut, fussy cut from the paper. And they, again, they serve as bottom holders. Gives a little dimension to it. And more here. Aren't these guys just the coolest? Love this. Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love this. Love this collection. This, I know I, I rave about a lot of their collections, but I'm telling you, ladies, this is definitely a must-have. Closing this, again, you know how versatile this is. It's just absolutely huge. You can fold this all the way out. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Huge. Yes. Or fold it back this way. And again, super, super, super large. Holds a ton. Just a ton. Then, you know, you guys hear me talk all the time about the waterfalls. I wish I would have came up with that idea. However, I did not invent the waterfall, but it is one of my favorite techniques to use because it takes up such a small footprint, but it allows so much space. How cool is that? So I went ahead and on the back side, I just used plain red cardstock. Um, of course, it's all inked with the Primo Black. Love it. Awesome, awesome place for tons of pictures. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the flips here in the waterfall. And then on the very last one, I went ahead and I put a small pocket at the bottom. Use a companion sticker there and matted it. And then I have another of the cut aparts that fits perfectly right inside here. Loved this project, I must say. You know how sometimes whenever you're working on a project and it just doesn't go very well, and other times you'll be working on a project and it just flows smoothly and you're like, wow, that is just so cool for it to go so easy. That is how this went. It just went together perfectly. Um, no problems, no issues. I love that when there's no problems, no issues. Wanted to show you the bottom. See the big fat round ball feet? And again, perfect place to not only put photos of your critters, but you can use this, set it out, and use this as a treat holder. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I hope that you guys like this project. I hope you don't hesitate and you get your copies of this collection. Again, this is authentic. Their collection is Companions. 
um, run, don't walk to get this because I know it's going to go pretty fast. Hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I will be having another project posted here shortly. I'm working on a cat project using this paper. Have to. I just have to. It's just so stinking cute not to. So at any rate, thanks for watching and come back again soon. Um, I will also have still photos. I will have those up on my blog. And that blog address is cross-eyed cricket, cross-eyed cricket creations.blogspot.com. I'll have a link at the bottom and a link to Country Craft Creations where you can obtain this very, very, very cool collection. Thanks again, folks.